Everybody, welcome in to the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, and we're going to be talking about England and Spain and the Euro 2024 final taking place Sunday in Berlin at Olympic Stadion. And it's been a pretty decent Euro uh, European Championship. A uh, lot of struggles early in terms of non aesthetically pleasing uh, football. We had some. Uh, managers get a, a ton of criticism for uh, really playing close to the best conservatively not giving us the beautiful game like we want but the semifinals were intriguing we had a lot of early goals and both games came down to the wire uh two one result from spain as they defeated france and england defeated the netherlands by the same score with a late winner from ollie watkins set up by another substitute um, and it was a, a wonderful match there as uh, Chelsea's Cole Palmer got him the ball and uh, both came in at the pretty much the exact same time. Gareth Southgate looked like a hero and uh, all is well in England where they have uh, now said that regardless of what happens on Sunday, Southgate is uh, welcome to continue on as the England manager heading into the 2026 World Cup, which will be held here in the United States as well as Canada and Mexico. So all is hunky-dory for England right now, but they want to make history. Uh, make no mistake about it. They have never won the Euros and uh, came closest in last time out, the Euro 2020, which was actually held in 21 to do the pandemic, and they lost to Italy on penalty kicks. That's been their best finish, a second place uh, result. And so they want to win it all this time. For Spain, they're looking to make history by becoming the first nation to win four times. And uh, they have been the most dominant uh, team in this tournament, a 13 to 3 goal differential. And they turned around a 1 0 deficit against France, thanks to Lamine Yamal, who is a teenager. He just will have his birthday on Saturday. And then the 17 years and one day old uh, when this final kicks off. And he will certainly be in the starting lineup. He's the toast of Spain at the moment. And so everybody, I'm sure, will celebrate his birthday alongside with him. I mean, Yamal, the real deal, I mean, to, to become the all-time uh, youngest goal scorer in European Championship history at 16 was such a monumental goal. Uh, beat out, actually, England's Jude Bellingham for the youngest goal scorer ever. Uh, just uh, hats off to him. He is absolutely uh, the real deal. As he proved at Barcelona, but to do it on this stage, I mean, come on. So that the storyline is in place. Bellingham is in place for England. Uh, you saw Harry Kane come through on a penalty kick for England as well. Uh, that ended up being uh, the first goal for uh, the three Lions as they rallied from their own 1-0 deficit against the Netherlands and England has been an under uh, uh, favorite for a lot of this and they were down though in every single knockout stage match round to 16 quarterfinals and against the Dutch in the finals and now they're an underdog in this match as Spain is the favorite uh, plus 135 to win in regulation a draw pays plus 185 uh, and uh, England to win in regulation in those 90 minutes, pays plus 250. Uh, Spaniards are minus 165 to win by any method. That means that covers you, uh, albeit juicy, if they win in, uh, in uh, regulation, extra time, or on penalty kicks for England, that is plus 125. So comes significantly down from the plus 250. So currently, like England uh, will probably not start Palmer, although that remains to be seen. Certainly won't start Watkins, although they should employ him in the second half. But uh, they like to go with uh, one striker, and uh, no one is going to unseat their all time leading goal scorer, Harry Kane. So uh, on the Spain side, we'll see more of Yamal. He has taken on an increased role with Pedri out for this tournament, I got hurt against Germany uh, due to a knee issue. And they do get top defender Danny Carvajal. Uh, he scored in the Champions League final for Real Madrid and is a stabilizing presence in the back, one of the top defenders in the world. He missed the semifinal due to yellow card accumulation, as did Robin Lenormand, who is uh, 
we'll see if he plays in this matchup. He uh, has to beat out veteran Nacho, who looked good in the semifinal in his place. So that is uh, a decision that Spain's manager will have to make. Uh, but again, in, in its entire history, Spain has only had a losing record against four nations uh, and has lost to no team more than England 13 times. It's been outscored 45 to 32, and the teams haven't met in years. They last met in group play in the UEFA Nations League back in 2018. Again, that's uh, nearly six years ago. And they split those matchups. They were both one goal games. And in the most recent one, it was England that came out on top three to two. So from that standpoint, I think uh, the England squad feels that they're a team of destiny, and I do too. Uh, they've been down so much in this tournament. Southgate came in under so much fire and then drew even more uh, due to how listless England looked at times. Same thing was going down against the Netherlands in the semifinal where they, they started off, off fast and then hit a 20-minute lull. And then when it mattered most, they came through with their subs and Southgate pulled the uh, right options. So both teams to score in this match is in the affirmative, plus 104, a no pace minus 134. I'm going to ride with the yes on that. I think both teams score. I think we take a cue from what we saw in the semifinals, even though this has been a conservative tournament for goal scoring, even though we've seen so many own goals, I think both teams find a bit of brilliance and end up scoring against one another in regulation. So I would say don't bet no on that, even though that's favored at minus 134. I'd say try to make a little plus money, plus 104 that both teams score. Uh, Harry Kane to score or assist is at plus 180. You get that little bit of a boost that he is England's penalty kicker, uh, but Bukayo Saka has been great as well. He's at plus 270. Bellingham is at plus 290. Phil Foden, plus 270 as uh, well. He has really had a fantastic season, uh, both at Manchester City and in tournaments. Uh, so I like him a little bit. Uh, Alvaro Morata is the favorite for Spain at plus 160 to score and assist. Yamal is at plus 220. Danny Almo, fantastic tournament. He's at plus 210. And Nico Williams is my sleeper at plus 230 to score or assist. So I would say Williams, if you want to make extra money, is the way to go here. Uh, but Yamal has had so much possession uh, since Pedri went down that I wouldn't talk you off him as well. Methods of victory. Either team winning in extra time, you choose that. You can get plus 550. Either team winning on penalty kicks, that's plus 390. The halftime result bets. Uh, England plus 210 to be up at halftime. Spain plus 290. A draw, minus 115. Wouldn't bet on a draw, but I don't know who's going to score first in this match. Certainly, Spain uh, is an interesting option because uh, they do play the more attractive brand of football. There is a, a corners bet as well available where you can bet exactly seven corners and make plus 550. The over on seven corners is favored here, and I would recommend that. Even though it's juicy at minus 160, I think we will see over seven corners in this match. Under seven is plus 195. And ultimately... My prediction is that it's coming home. England will win the 2024 European Championship. And even though it's coming home was a, a World Cup slogan that they came up with. And, uh, you know, they, they haven't won since 1966. And that's the meaning of that. And they've never won uh, the Euros. So I don't know why it's coming home. But that's what they're saying. And that's my belief. I believe in the whole March Madness the team of destiny Thing where a, a team that looks like it's going to be eliminated finds a bit of magic the way Jude Bellingham was able to save that team earlier in this tournament and then continues on. I think that that plays into, into this result. I also think that the fact that uh, at this point they've all rallied around Southgate and not to mention that they're you know they have the talent to get this done. They were uh, uh, the pre-tournament co-favorite, uh, so certainly would not be an upset in the whole, but in, as far as this match goes, Spain is favored, but England gets it done. Smash that like button for me, and I hope you, whether you fade me or follow, are a winner on Sunday in this matchup. Follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Nero, spelling down there below. Follow me on my sports memo page at sm.buzz slash TDM for all my pick packages and free plays. 
And uh, again, make sure you're subscribed to Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play across any major sport, including the Olympics. You can uh, also make sure you're signed up with one of your favorite handicappers, be it at Sports Memo or Wager Talk, for a 30-day pass. We've got them at discounted rates right now, so check all that out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend and a profitable Sunday.